You know what I love most about Photoshop is that even after 20 years of using Photoshop, I still discover new things that I wish I knew earlier. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my five little hacks in Photoshop that will make your life easier. So into Photoshop here, I have this butterfly here. And if I zoom in, you can see here, this image is a bit blurry. Now, there are different ways to make a photo sharper, but I'm gonna show you a way that you probably didn't know about. So first of all, let's duplicate our original layer by pressing Ctrl J and then I will desaturate this image by going to image and then adjustments and select desaturate. So black and white. And the next one is go to filter other and select high pass. And here you want to keep a radius where you can see a bit of these kind of white areas on the image, which will be the details of the photo. So this will probably be somewhere around three, then press OK. And the only thing I have to do here is change the blend mode to linear light. And now if this is not enough, you can press Ctrl J or Command J to duplicate these layers and you can see how sharp this image gets. So let me put this first in one folder and let's compare the before. You can see here how blurred this is and this one is super sharp. So that's an easy way to sharpen your image in Photoshop if it's a bit blurry. All right, the next one is to remove backgrounds from difficult images. So let me show you in Photoshop. You can see here I have this landscape photo and if I would remove these trees from the background it's gonna take ages if I do this by the pen tool or maybe some other ways. Now the best way to remove the background from this one is to use channels. So let's go into channels here. If you don't see channels here go to window and select channels and here you want to select the channel which has the best contrast between the subject that you want to remove from the background. Right so in this case our trees. So I'm going to go through these. I'm going to click on red, green and blue. And you can see blue. We have this really dark trees. They're almost black. And this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to duplicate this channel by clicking right mouse duplicate channel. We don't have to rename this. And if I enable this, you can see here it's red. And now we can make this even better. So I'm going to press Ctrl L or Command L to bring up the levels here. And here I can move these sliders around. So I'm going to make sure these trees are really kind of red and the background there that I want to remove should be more whitish. So let's make sure this is red like that and the background should be white. So something like this is fine. Then I will press OK. And now let's go. Let's disable this one for now. Let's go into layers here. And if I select a brush, just a normal brush, black brush and select the blend mode overlay here. Keep in mind that's important. Now let's make this bigger. Now I can brush these trees more black like that. And you can see how easy I can make them all black. So let's brush these all black like that. So we can give Photoshop some more information on what to remove. Right, so let's brush this black. And if I select the white color, so I'm gonna flip these, or you can just click here and select white. I can brush these white. And now you can see it's not brushing these trees because we have the blend mode to overlay, right? So that's enough. And now maybe you don't want this, you can also brush that. But for now, I'm going to show you that just with this simple brushing, we can now remove this from the background. So let's go back to channels. So if I hold down Ctrl or Command on Mac and click on this channel, it's making this selection. Now let's go into channels here and just make a mask. And you can see it's made a mask. Now we just want a mask from the other side. So we simply press on the mask and press Ctrl or Command I to invert this. And now you can see it's already gone. And now we just have to add a background there. Let's increase this, make this bigger like that and put it behind it. And you can see here we already changed the background. And that's it for the channels to remove the background. All right, for the next one, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that you can use on portraits, especially for animals. I use this most of the time. It's a really cool trick to really create a nice glow effect. So first of all, let me open up Photoshop here again. And you can see here, I have a photo of this line here. So first of all, I'm gonna desaturate this slightly. I'm gonna press Ctrl U and decrease the saturation here a bit darker or less colorful, however you wanna call that, like that. And now if I create a glow effect just by brushing here, let's make this really light like that. I'm just gonna do this quickly because it's not about this glow, but it's about the effect that's coming with it. So let's say you have lighting here, but it's kind of a bit boring. I wanna create cooler lighting. So I'm gonna create a new layer on top of my lighting 
and here I'm gonna brush again but this time I'm gonna select really colorful kind of orange color and I'm gonna click one time here and then I'm gonna resize this with Ctrl T like that and if I change the blend mode here from normal to overlay I can create this really cool effect and you can see how great this looks now obviously this is too much so drop the opacity here so you just see it slightly like that and then if you duplicate this layer you can place it on different parts especially on the parts where the lighting is coming from and you can see how awesome light effect I'm creating here so this is one of the cool tricks that I use for most animal photography kind of digital art editing right so play around with this duplicate it a couple of times don't place it like there because you want to keep it on the side of the lighting and just be creative with this all right the next trick is just a little setting in Photoshop that you can use and let's go into Photoshop here you can see here I have this photo here but you can see the image is quite close to the border especially when you print stuff for let's say for canvas or I don't know acrylic print or whatever print you want to do you want to make sure your image is not too close to the border because it's going to be cut off when they print it so you see you have to add some centimeters or inches whatever you're working with now the easiest way to do this is to ju just go to canvas size and here you can change the pixels but there is an easy way to just add these pixels or these centimeters or inches whatever to your photo so let's say for instance you have a width of 76 you want to add 10 you can just add plus 10 right so that's just a simple trick that you can use in canvas size or image size it works on all of these and if you press ok it's gonna add 10 centimeters on the sides right so if you just want a 10 centimeter on one side you can select these and it's gonna make it on the left side plus 10 let's go to centimeters plus 10 and you can use whatever value you want it's gonna make this on that side and then you can eventually even use generator fill to create this extra part if you would like to add that right so that's one little trick all right the next trick is quite useful when you have a photo of a document and maybe the photo is taken like sideways or something and you want to make sure it's right in front on your screen so let's go into Photoshop here let's say this is your document and you want to make sure you have this document here straight on your screen right so what you can do is you can actually take the perspective crop tool here and just select the corners like that and then press this and you have your document right in front of your screen so those are five photoshop tricks or hacks whatever you want to call them for making your life in photoshop easier so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i catch you on the next one